Hey everybody! Um, suddenly my mouth is so dry. Um, of course, as I start a live video, but I just wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about the pattern that I just uploaded to the files. Um, let me talk about this one. This is what's called the flat pattern. Um, this one has been available in the files for free for quite a while. This was one of the very first mix and match patterns. Um, it's in a really old format where it had just about every kind of dotted line you could think of, thinking that all of these things needed to be labeled when really they don't need to be labeled. <laughs> They're just a little more in, like intuitive than that. So anyway, um, this is a really old file and it was like one of my first stabs at making a mix and match file layout. Um, so when I was doing this, um, mix and match sewing patterns were not really a thing yet. So this is what they looked like as my first go at it. Um, and this is still a fully functional pattern. Um, you'll get good pads from this if you follow this. Um, but for me, I get a lot of joy out of trying to improve patterns and improve like the overall experience of sewing pads. Um, and you don't need a pattern to sew pads. I don't mean to say that, but um, for those who want to have a pattern, I enjoy making them better. So another issue that I've kind of seen is that people who are new to pads or new to sewing their own pads, um, when you know somebody that you'd like to share a pattern with or just like get them hooked up with sewing pads, like it's kind of a barrier that you're not supposed to s redistribute patterns. So basically on every pattern ever, it's going to say don't redistribute the pattern for good reason. Usually they're for sale um, and even when they're free, like all of my patterns, I don't want you to redistribute them without my permission because then, um, then I have no control over them in a way. Like I offer them free in my group because I want to thank you guys for being in the group. I want it to be a valuable resource for you. Um, but I see this as a barrier. Like it would be so much easier if somebody's like, yeah, I would like to sew my own pads and you could just use your phone to forward an email to them with an actual sewing pattern that would get them on their way so much faster than it would be to tell them go to this site and um, even to get this free pattern like they're probably not going to do that they'll probably never follow those directions to get that pattern it's too much work too much friction so I was thinking about how to fix that and I came up with a revised version of the flat pattern that you can share. Share it any way you want except for selling it. So you can email it, you can print it out and physically hand it to somebody. You can um, you can upload it to other sewing groups if you have permission. Um, just any way that you could share this with people so that it would be valuable to them. Um, you can do that. So that's kind of strange. I know that nobody's used to that and it's like breaking sewing pattern rules, but um, I just want to see how it goes. I want to see how it goes to have a pattern that you're allowed to share. So I see some people joining. Hello. We're just talking about um, a revised version of this pattern. It's got some improvements to it, I think. Um, it's simpler, it's just one page, and the main huge difference is that you can share the PDF with people. Um, so with this pattern, um, don't sell it, because I'm offering it to you for free, but you can email it, you can, um, however you prefer to distribute it to the people you want to give it to, you can do that. And so let me talk about, um, and of course, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them before the video is over. So let's talk about some of the differences 
in this pattern, I went ahead and sewed it. I did the nine inch and I used the sharp corner. And so I noticed with this pattern, um, it was originally made with some really sharp corners here and it works out fine, but sometimes when they're super sharp, they get a little wobbly and hard to put through your sewing machine. So um, the corners here are not as sharp and you have an option to round it off just a little bit. It's still gonna look like a square pad, but it's enough of a rounded corner that it'll be easier to sew if you wanna do it that way. And you can do it on the wings as well, just to taking off that sharp corner. And what else is different? The snapped width is still 2.5, but it's a slightly, a little more of a wrap wing pattern. And I don't know if that's going to show up very well. Um, maybe I should have cut this out. But anyway, um, this section right here is a little wider, and the wings, when it's sewn correctly, pull the sides of the pad around your underwear a little bit, and I'll just show you the pad, because that explains it better. So it snaps at 2.5 inches, just like the original flat pattern. Um, but there's a little more coverage to it. So as you can see, the sides of the pad that connect to the wings, they kind of curve in a little bit. Um, so I'd say it's like a just bordering on wrap wing-ish, but not really. Does that make sense? Like it's gonna be different than all the tab wing pads that are typical versatile pads, patterns. But um, I would still call this a 2.5 snapped width pattern with better center coverage. So yeah, that's the pattern. Um, and also I'm experimenting with suggesting on the pattern that you could print it at 95% or 105% in your printer dialog box if you're using a computer, you could tell it to print at a larger scale if you wanted a wider pad. And I think that would be just fine. Like you don't need to get multiple widths. Like if you're selling pads and you want consistency and length and shape and everything, I could see why you totally want to be able to buy, you know, designed pads that have different widths. But if you're just using this at home and, um, you just need it to be slightly wider or narrower, I think you can just fudge the scale when you're printing it. So, yeah. And so the cheesy name here is the share because it's a pattern that you can share. And I'm hoping that will be memorable enough that um, it actually gets shared when appropriate. So if you see somebody that's asking for a beginner pattern, um, you could just send this to them. Um, sending PDF patterns through Facebook Messenger works just fine. I do that with my phone and my computer, so you could do it that way. Um, if there's a sewing group where it's okay to upload files that are free, like sewing patterns, you could upload it there. Um, so, yeah. Do you guys have any questions about this pattern. I'm pretty excited about it because I enjoyed sewing this. It was a pretty fast sew. I need to fix my lighting here, unfortunately. It's nighttime here, so it's hard to get good lighting. Um, and Stacy, you can go download it. Um, unless you're talking about like the print of this one. So you can still mix and match the lengths on this. You would just print two pages of this and then um, decide if you want like a seven inch on the bottom, 13 inch on the top. So 
the wings will still be the same, but um, yeah, you can customize the length of the front and the back of the pad. And so what I kind of need help with is um, if you guys want to look at the pattern, this just a one page pattern and see if anything could be worded differently or um, just laid out differently so that it would be easy to understand for new people. Because if you're just going to like shoot someone an email with a pattern, you don't want to be tied into also teaching them how to sew or teaching them how to use the pattern. Like for somebody completely new to patterns, sending this to them is confusing. Like I would not want to start sewing pads if somebody just out of the blue sent me this and didn't want to explain anything to me. Um, so yeah, let me know if you see any ways that this could be a little more intuitive, but I think it's pretty close. Um, but your eyes always help me to catch things I miss. Um, and I've included a stepped core on this one. None of my other patterns have that option, I think. Um, I got rid of the super close to the edge core because that can be difficult for beginners if they try to use that one and then um, their sewing foot uh, or their presser foot like catches on the core and then it can be frustrating. So I just eliminated that and then added an option for a stepped core so that you can, if you have two thick layers for your core, make the second layer the stepped core and that should get rid of some of the bulk. Um, and make it easier to sew all together. Um, Stacy, the pattern is in the files, or it should be. I just uploaded it to the files, and it starts off with the name Share Me. So, yeah, let me take a look and see. I don't think the patterns really need these alignment dots anymore. Um, and... What's just when I'm reflecting back on this whole process for me of creating patterns, um, I thought that mix and match was going to be way more popular than it was. Like it's popular, people want that feature in their patterns, but it seems like usually pads are just sewn as the pattern is intended. And then the people who do actually mix and match the wings and the flares, like, they do it whether or not the patterns are meant to, to do that, you know? Like, so I kind of don't see that as the most important thing anymore. So if somebody wants to use this pattern and modify it and make it work with some other versatile patterns, you're totally free to do that. And, yeah. Um... I think my brain is kind of shutting off at the moment of run out of thoughts on this but um, please let me know if you have any questions I'm gonna try to come up with some instructions for this but yeah let me know what your questions would be if you can put yourself in the perspective of someone new to sewing new to sewing cloth pads and what questions you might have because I've got plenty of space here to add more um, information, but I want to add it unless it's needed. It could be overwhelming to have a full page of words. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I hope that you have a good night and that you find this pattern useful. Okay, see ya!